I love the song, like, it's not like, don't use the word like, it's love. No, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. enough. We've had enough, enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> when you just hear that beat, you just jump up. It just goes, Master, Master, you know? Mm? And you have to go I with the beat. Like, like, what the other person is doing, you do it. You know, shout out to uh, <laughs> to Mac Cheats. This is one of her favorites. So. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's that Nigerian thing right here on Click Niger. It's so wonderful. I'm so happy to be here. I don't know what you're mm. going to say. Yes. <laughs> Every time. When it's Thursday, uh, my spirit goes high. You know yeah, what? because we're doing, you know, the Nigerian, Nigerian thing. Presenting ourselves the way we are, the peculiarity about you. us as Nigerians. We are free to speak PG. <laughs> we are free to speak Igbo, mm-hmm. enjoying this time. And on top of it all, mm-hmm. we are free to come with our swag. You uh-huh. know, that Nigerian inborn. I don't yes, know. I'm so... not saying any Nigerian <laughs> doesn't have that swag. It just comes. It's, pa- it's in the blood. The <laughs> swag, you know. <laughs> Is in our blood. Okay, mm-hmm. so today we'll be looking at Nigerian words derived from English words. So yeah, two separate things: Nigerian wor- mm-hmm. words, English, English words. words. Yeah. So we look at a, an English word and then we coin our own. Yes. And then we say to go with it. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. then we even put more confidence in our own, like like added the swag. And, and if you don't know, you think it's a word. And more enjoy a real word, like a real word that is in a dictionary. Okay. <laughs> My name is Ene Kenyawe. And I am Sylvia Ishebe. Yeah. And <laughs> last week we talked about the cost of marrying a wife here in Nigeria. Hmm. We got plenty. So many, so many comments. So, but one of the comments I like to go with is from Simon Matthias. And I see you there already. Hi, Simon. Simon. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and also Lovelyn. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Lovelyn. Hi, Lovelyn. Okay. Okay, so Simon was talking about his in-law who charged them so high when they were going to marry a wife of his brother. And he was kind of regressing. Like when his sister got married, they collected so little from their brother-in-law. Like, come on. We, we should, they should just do, do a rewind. Like, yeah, so that take we it back. Let's go and charge extra. <laughs> <laughs> that really got me. Like, yeah. uh, but you know, a lot of people. It's still a conversation people are having. I'm seeing mm. on social media people making posts about bride price. Like they saw us discuss this thing. How about hey? Like they are saying they should scan the thing. It's, 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 some, like, it's something that is biting everybody. Come on, <laughs> like. <laughs> It's high. It's not easy. Okay. So today we're looking at various English words that have been coined into Nigerian English. Like they have been Nigerian. Nigerian nice. We took the language and decided that this is the way it's going to be. So today we even put so much swag in it and you know it is here for us oh yeah as i remember sometime towards the end of last year early mm-hmm. this year um uh, some of my german words uh ha- made it into the oxford um dictionary yeah. english dictionary words mm-hmm. like buka mm-hmm. bogateria downfall chop chop gist next tomorrow mm. <laughs> before now they used to correct us don't say next tomorrow it's uh, day after tomorrow day after. but you see we have owned the language so they it has been the level that we have entered the dictionary with their dictionary <laughs> yeah okay so um that's the way we're going to keep going anyway like so that's our focus words that nigerians have reformed revamped re 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 everything re re reorganized you know <laughs> recreated re everything out of you know the, this words best describe our emotions as nigerians it yeah. best describes our environment our peculiar situation mm-hmm. and uh it describes us it's so everything about us yeah, yeah. so top on the list is the mud <laughs> like your mud okay first of all i want to i, I even originally wanted to start with one of those challenges but since this one is already out let's just you know go ahead domot is from door and mat like you combine the words and form a short court mm-hmm. door mot did you know Dormat. did you know about what she just said like door mat came from door 
um, domot that we from. use as Nigerians yeah. came from door yeah. and mat. Yeah. Now we know that door, the mat is always at the door. Yes. The door, I, the door mat is always at the door. Mm -hmm. So now um, we as Nigerians, we have decided that domot would actually mean that area. You know, some people like to say it's the door mouth, but in English language, there's not exactly anything like door mouth. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it's the the door mat, and we have carried it to mean domot. You know, like that whole area, like your space, your personal yes, space. Yes. Now my domot. Hey, hey, why you know my domot? Car for my domot. Uh -huh. yeah, it's normal for what us to just say. for my domot? But this was originally gotten from door and mat, yeah. which is door. Matt. Yeah. Well, hi, hi, it's Christian Seki. I see you. Good morning, Matt. Good morning to you. Uh, I'm not in my, my name is Sylvia, <laughs> in case you're wondering. And then Pianap Maya Dockers. Hey, beautiful ladies. Oh, hi, oh, Dockers. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> okay, so um, in, in, generally, uh, the, the merger, you know, for English language and our local languages is what we now formed into this various words well some people might say um the word throw mm -hmm. and away mm -hmm. it's supposed to be oh don't throw that away or throw it away mm -hmm. that's how you say it normally in english words yeah but you found that we have our own as nigerians as throw away yes like, ah this one i just yes. said throw, throw away like throw away. It, it is gotten, throw away. yeah exactly it's gotten from throw and away yeah. coming together now, okay. uh, some people have said the obvious explanation to what Nigerians are doing with English words is um, the uh, when during the olden days mm -hmm. that our forefathers were overwhelmed by English speaking whites, yeah. and then the locals what they decided to do was that they tried their best mm -hmm. to pick up bits of the language that the white men were saying so they could communicate. So English met with local languages and, and they they came together. That's like how that. we reformed uh -huh. and reswagged mm -hmm. and resized so to and recycled <laughs> all the languages. <laughs> you know, okay, the so languages. The way is a word that means discarding or getting rid of something. Yeah. And that is Nigerian. T T R O W A W W A Y. Throw away. Throw away. Throw away. Okay, so next is Sidon. Mm -hmm. Sidon is got from um, two words. Yeah. Sit and down. It means to sit down well. It could be by the door, you know. If someone says Sidon for the domot, for instance, now, it means sit down by the door at the entrance to a place, you know. Go Sidon for domot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Sidon on its own is from sit and down you know yeah and that's how you got sidon no sidon no sidon <laughs> no sidon for that sit place and down. why you sit down they look like this they said in proper english like when you're saying sit sit means to sit now why are you putting down to it and that's what, for another that, day. we're not here to teach you that exactly, exactly. <laughs> speaking our things the way uh, nigerians speak it <laughs> okay <laughs> so um next we're looking at uh waka yes waka. waka is another word mm -hmm. that is um um gotten from walk you know nigerians love to walk about mm -hmm. nigerians love to we're very mobile people. Mo yeah we are mobile yeah, we like to when, when i say walk about i see we don't get focus no <laughs> we have focus we are very mobile. yes yeah, so we're yeah. mobile that's the word and so uh waka is the nigerianized version of the term walk which is basically mm -hmm. to just walk mm -hmm. so waka 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 yeah i don't waka I don't if you say if you say I don't work I mean, I've gone I'm gone I'm leaving I don't go I don't move you know I don't work out all right so so the question we're asking you is if you know any of these words you can actually drop at the comment section which Nigerian words do you know that was coined from an English word you say so often or somebody around you say so often that you sometimes don't even we, even, we even forget it's not originally Nigerian like we've used it so much it has become so part of what um, part of our language you know one other language one other word or let me say phrase is gimme like we like to say gimme rather than put the full word give me it's it's for, it's actually give me but when we're asking for for something to be given in nigerian english we just say gimme so you're expected to just understand it's easier. That it's easier it's just the short form it's just a short course 
you know because i noticed that most of these words that that are got from the the english language that nigerianized so to speak are yeah. usually shorter Short, way sort of saying of it. the long part mm -hmm. right? so give me give me and then another one is come on <laughs> like people have even seen this one as insult in nigeria yeah. like in the english word is come on yeah. like the person is urging you to do something yeah. why don't you move along why don't come you on. just to persuade you to do something yeah. it's normal english show yeah. but we nigerians we decided to say come on uh, like, wait yeah come on come there's, on come there's on, another one i was like <laughs> my friend <laughs> my, <laughs> my friend my come friend. on you know like my friend should be so a kind word they're kind the kind of things you say to your friend, my mm. friend, but mm. just see people. Come on, Jerry, my friend, my friend, <laughs> my friend. Like, and you, 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 you feel so insulted. When yeah, it's like, how can you tell me? Come on, a whole me. Mm -hmm. Come on, am I a mate? When you, see, you, you, see, see, you, start. you see a gendered kid, mm -hmm. just the parents. Come Dad, on. come on. Dad, come on. <laughs> eh? You no. said that to the Jerry. <laughs> eh? Which one? Come on. <laughs> okay, so we also have. Agree, mm -hmm. I know agree, which is from agree. Now, this one in particular, I am so guilty of using this one to the extent that I have tried um, unconsciously to type on my phone, my devices. And I, sometimes when I'm typing, maybe on on Word, you know, when I type agree, then I'll see that red line underneath it, and I'm like, ah, what does this, <laughs> what's this supposed to mean? But the truth is it's a reminder that it's not actually an english it's not actually the english language version of it it's our own form of it like we just come out to the a you know, and decided to go with the green but how does so, it sound i know green i know green uh, it's better. why you go green i prefer that version then uh, see before you open your mouth why you can't say ah <laughs> so it doesn't make it easier agree. you know agree. i like i don't agree mm. you know i i, I would uh, but in the actual way, in the English language, rather, you'd say, I wouldn't agree, you know. With this, with, with this words, with this words, hopefully make it to the dictionary, to the Oxford You never English can tell. Dictionary. You never can tell. But when we know, keep saying it, in a few years, mm -hmm. you know, they could become so popular and be so acceptable that they emerge into the Oxford dictionary. All right. So it's that so. Do you mean that? That is what is that so means like an English word or English words. Mm -hmm. It's that so. Mm -hmm. uh, but Nigerians, instead of using that, they say na so. Na so. Na so. Na so be. Uh -huh. Na so. Mm -hmm. You know, just <laughs> making sure. Okay. So we asked the question on our social media platforms like, what words do you know? that have been coined from the English language into the Nigerian language and Okibe Mike came out to say Domot, okay we just talked about that you know he uh, he believes that it means door mouth but the truth is that's like from, said, the, from yes, door the two words door, door and mouth, mouth okay. you know but in English language there's no no such thing as door mouth you know only humans and animals have mouth so there's no mouth on the door mm -hmm exactly so the truth is it's from the door mat you know so that area is the door door mat oh, yeah, yeah. Door if yeah. i'm standing at my door mm -hmm. and i'm on standing on the mat what am i standing on <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I don't start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're standing on your door mat. I'm standing on my door mat. Yeah, okay, you you you. Oh, I'm I, I'm standing at my door mat. You are standing at your door mat. Don't leave me. Okay, you get it. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> you see this here? Yeah. <laughs> don't leave me challenge. Challenge. <laughs> but you know what? It, the, the, it has also gotten us to a point where we're trying to get our compound words right. Yeah. You True. two words you merge this one and you merge this one and you mm -hmm. see you can create words. So many people don't even um, make use of so many compound words. But with this challenge, where people are already doing that, yes, and it's it helping people things. become creative. Yes, create things like put two things together, and then before you know it, you've got something else. All right, AK Phoebe he says uh, come out, and um, it's gotten from the word come out. Come yes. out means come out. Come out. Mm. So like we just made it easier. Come, you know, come out, come out, come out. Come out. 
So rather than go all the way and say come out, would go come on. Well, have you seen this one? This Instead one. of saying uh, ground nuts or peanuts, mm -hmm. how do we call it? Granuts. 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 He's granuts. Granuts. G R A then N U T. Oh my God, Nigerians. We just have the easy way. Of and and I want one to funkify it. We're like granuts. Gr grind. What are they grind? Granuts. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Inyoma UKJ. Thanks to thanks for joining us. She says, "Get out from Get Out." Oh, Get yeah. Out. Go on, please, and it's nice. Get out of here. Like Do you remember when that trended? The Get Out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so it's got it from the words Get Out. Yeah. Then we move on to another comment by Tonya Emaiku. She says, "Sidon is sit down." Yes, Sidon is actually sit down. And Ongma Babalola says, what is it? it we, we say, waiting. waiting. Now waiting. So where did they get that? In? Yeah, like, wait, what is it? With? What is the it? The W, the I it's in the E. Well, you know, <laughs> it, 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 I believe it's still just part of our creativity. Yeah. You know, Nigerians, we could just create like that. And Mike Dabo, he says, a beg is from I beg, I, I beg. beg. So instead of going all the way to say I beg, you have to twist your tongue and beg. You take all those long grounds. I beg. Just say I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Temem, Temem says Sabi Sabi, which actually means in English Savi. Yeah. Did you know that? I had no clue. Did you know? I, I Sabi Sabi is Savi. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, I I just. I, I didn't even know Sabi Sabi was supposed to be from an English word, to tell the truth. And what but, it actually means, the Sabi thing. Yes, it actually translates to Sabi. You know, Sabi is practical knowledge and ability to make a good judgment. You mm -hmm. know, like you know something. You know you, a lot. And that's what Sabi Sabi kind of means, Basically. even though most of the time we use it in a sarcastic way. I beg, na Sabi Sabi, that girl na Sabi Sabi. You know, like being, you know, sarcastic. Mm -hmm. So, Catherine Abo says, Domot is dumb mouth, mm -hmm. as in, I dare your Domot, leave mm -hmm. my Domot. <laughs> you can insist that Domot is dumb mouth. Yes, she, she says mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's dumb mouth. But literally, in, in, in the English language, there's no such thing as dumb mouth. Yeah. Yeah, so. And uh, yeah. Ene Ocholi. Yes, Ene Ocholi says, like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. I like it like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead like of that. saying like, like that, you know, it's from like that. Like, yeah. like that. Not, not so like that. Like that. Leave them like that. Leave me like that. Even the leave me like that. Leave them. Leave them. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it. Okay, she also went on to say, Naram be that. Naram be that. Naram be that. Okay, what Naram? Yeah. But what she she explains, she said that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Or oh, nine be that. Yes, uh, for me, I would rather say nine be that. Nine be that. Mm -hmm. Nine be that. So he talk say she says he talk say mean. He, he said, said that. that. He yeah. Said that. Yeah, like he talk say you know he said you know. So okay, Linda Adoku says throw away. Yeah. Throw away, which means mean throw, throw away. Way. Truly, I can't even stop um, hailing Nigerians for how creative we have been. We are so you know, creative. Our pidgin English, I believe, is still evolving because on a daily, new words are coming out of the English language itself, and I can't take away the creativity from us. We truly are blessed. And we are legends <laughs> legends with words okay that is where we wrap up the show uh today on that nigerian thing as we looked at nigerian words that were coined or <laughs> yeah, yeah they were derived from english words and so i hope you learned a thing or two and you're going to start using them in case you have dropped some make it a duty today to use nigerian words mm -hmm. who knows we will make it into the oxford dictionary yeah. come 2020 ahead Bye. ahead <laughs> ahead ahead <laughs> so keep going thanks so much for being with us on this edition of 
that nigerian thing next week we'll be here with another fresh edition is there anything you'd like us to talk about yeah let's know in drop our comment, comment section, section. Yeah. okay all right shout out to simon matthias lovely nikelo b shout out to it's christian seki shout out to piena Maya Dockers and Ihoma UKJ for your comments. And uh, if I didn't see your comments, it's not my fault. That's the ones I've seen. Right? <laughs> okay. We'll and we like appreciate it. you anyway, just in for case watching you can also see <laughs> the, the comments right now. My name is Ene Kenyawi. Thank you so much for being with us on this show. Yeah. So if I go away mm -hmm. and decide not to come back, mm -hmm. what did I do? I don't know what to do. I'm leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sylvia Shimi. <laughs> <laughs>